Good morning, students. Today we will discuss about methods of integration. And one of the method is integration by partial fraction method. Okay. If the factors are linear, factors are repeated, and factors are quadratic, these are the three points. But in my previous video, first part is completed. Factors are linear. Okay. Now we will discuss about factors are repeated and factors are quadratic. For that purpose, we consider one of the example like this. Evaluate, evaluate integration of 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 bracket square. Ingredients. Try to understand. Observe this question. Degree of numerator is 1. Degree of denominator is 2. Therefore, it is a proper fraction. You can use partial fraction method in this case. But our factors are repeated two times. Because x plus 2 is a factor. And that factor repeated two times. That's why integral quantity let integral quantity 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 bracket square you can add on this way a divided by x plus 2 means one of the factor plus b divided by x plus 2 bracket square give this equation number 1 isn't it? then find the value of a and B. For that purpose, you can't apply shortcut method. That method is already discussed about at the time of factors are linear. Here factors are not linear. That's why you can't use shortcut method. You can equalize the denominator both the side. Left hand side keep as it is. And what about right hand side? Here x plus 2 bracket square is equal to equal as the denominator. Here your denominator is x plus 2 bracket square. One of the factor is required means x plus 2 and plus b as it is because here denominator already present. Okay. And compare both sides. Comparing we get 3x minus 1 which is equal to a into bracket x plus 2 plus b because denominator of left hand side and right hand side are equal therefore numerator must be equal you will get equation number 2 from equation number 2 find out the value of constant a and b for that purpose Observe the first factor, one of the factor x plus 2. That's why put x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2 in equation 2. In equation 2. What is the equation 2? 3 into 2 minus 2. Replace x by minus 2. 3 into minus 2 minus 1 is equal to a into bracket minus 2 plus 2 plus b means minus 6 minus 1 is minus 7 equal to 0 plus b therefore value of b equal to minus 7 one of the value is getting by observing first factor first factor factor become a 0 you will get value of x put this value in equation number 2 you will get value of one of the cost. Then, what about find the other value? You can put x plus 2 is 0, again you will get the same answer. Therefore, you can use trial and error method. You can put any value of x. Any value of x other than minus 2. Isn't it? Okay. I am putting x is equal to 0. 
in equation number 2. What happens? In equation 2 we come 3 into 0 minus 1 is equal to a into a into 0 plus 2 plus b as it is. Means 3 into 0 is 0. In left hand side minus 1 equal to 2a plus b. You know the value of b is nothing but minus 7. Simply by transfer this minus 7 on that side, you will get 6 is equal to 2a because plus 7 minus 1 and value of a equal to 3 means you will get value of the constant a and b. Therefore, equation 1 become. Once you get the value of a and b, then put this value in proper place means replace value of a is equal to 3 and value of b is nothing but minus 7 in equation 1 means equation 1 become therefore equation 1 become like this and then you can take integration of both sides in left hand side of a question and in right hand side you will get the Simple polynomials means using my partial fraction method reduce this given polynomial is some more difference of simple polynomials. This is our aim. Okay, now integration both sides. You will get integration of 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 bracket square dx is equal to 3 you can take constant of integration outside that integration. And what about here? Minus 7 integration of 1 divided by x plus 2 bracket square into dx. Left hand side is nothing but i, our question. And how to take integration of right hand side? 3. What is integration of this? Integration is nothing but log of mod of x plus 2. Minus 7 as it is. What is integration of this? Take, it, take this quantity in numerator which is equal to minus 2 dx and use standard formula you will get 3 log of mod of x plus 2 x plus 2 minus 7 and increase index by 1 just like power function integration of x raised to n dx means you will get x plus 2 raised to minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus some constant of integration c. Simply by, I am writing my final answer is like this. i equal to 3 log of power of x plus 2. First part. And what about second part? Here we get minus 1, minus 1 plus 7 divided by plus 7 divided by x plus 2. Rest to minus 1 means plus 1 plus some constant integration c. This is the final answer for this question. Isn't it? Any doubt? Everybody get this idea? Okay. Take one more question for practice. Evaluate, evaluate integration of 3x plus 5 divided by x cube minus x square minus x plus 1 into dx. At the beginning, you can't get the idea about the factors of denominator. But in this case, degree of numerator is 1. Degree of denominator is 3, therefore this is the proper fractions. Easily you can use partial fraction method. But here we can't observe the factors are it may be linear or repeated or quadratic. First of all, factorize the denominator. Consider integrand quantity. Consider integrand quantity 3x plus 5 divided by x cube minus x square minus x plus 1 is nothing but 3x plus 5 as it is 
Take x square common in between first two terms. You will get x square into bracket x minus one, and take minus one common in between other two parts, other two terms. Means you will get x minus one, which is nothing but three x plus five divided by x square minus one, one of the factor, and x minus one other factor. Again, observe this. You know that formula for factorization a square minus b square, and you can use factorize first part. You will get x plus one, x minus one, and this is also x minus one factor. Means you will get integral quantity is nothing but this factor repeated two times. This factor repeated two times, and this is only one times. This linear factor means our factors are like this. This is linear factor x plus one, but x minus one whole square. That is nothing but factor is repeated by two times. These factors are repeated. Now how to write this? Therefore, three x plus five divided by x plus one. And x minus one whole square equal to a divided by first factor. For linear factor, only one constant is there, a divided by linear factor. Plus, this second factor is repeated two times. That's why I take another constant, b divided by x minus one plus c divided by x minus one whole square. This is equation number one. Got it? Try to understand. Observe the integral quantity and factorize the denominator. How to factorize? Take x square common in first two terms, minus one common in other two terms, and simplify step by step. You will get this. These are the factors. Here, first factor is a linear, no doubt, degree one. But what about second factor? Second factor repeated two times. How to write? A divided by first linear factor plus B divided by one of the factors, C divided by both the factors are to be done. Then equalize the denominator. Here also you can't use shortcut method. Equalize the denominator that is important in this case. X plus one, X minus one whole square equal to. Here. X plus one is there. A into multiply numerator and denominator by this quantity. X minus one whole square. Because I want to equalize the denominator. X plus one. X minus one whole square. Plus what about here? Only one factor is there. Again one factor is required. And X plus one is also there. Means B into X plus one. X minus one. And what about here? X minus one whole square is there. Only one factor is required. C integrated x plus one. And then observe both the side. Means compare. Compare. We get numerator three x plus five is equal to a integrated x minus one whole square plus b integrated x plus one. X minus one and plus C integrated x minus x plus one. Give this is equation number two. Give this is equation number two. Then find out the value of constant A B C. Replace the value in proper place in equation one and taking integration of both sides, you will get. Answer for this question. Okay, then our problem arises. How to find value of A, B, C? Uh, I will erase these all parts. Okay, our equation one is like this. Our equation one, 
What is the equation 1 in this case? Means 3x plus 5 divided by x plus 1 x minus 1 whole square is nothing but a divided by x plus 1 b divided by x minus 1 and c divided by x minus 1 whole square this is equation number 1 ok observe the equation 1 take first part first factor equal to 0 means put x plus 1 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 1 in equation number 2 put this value in equation number 2 what happened? left hand side become 3 into minus 1 plus 5 is equal to when we replace x is equal to minus 1 you will get minus 2 whole square minus 2 whole square means 4a and what about other part here minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 means this part becomes 0 here also minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 means other two parts are 0 I will simplify the left hand side 2 is equal to 4a therefore 2 by 4 equal to a means value of a equal to 1 half you will get 1 of the value isn't it? how to find other value? you can observe second factors x minus 1 take this is equal to 0 means I am written here put x minus 1 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 in equation 2 what about equation 2 when we replace x by 1 we will get 3 into 1 plus half is equal to what about here 1 minus 1 0 first part becomes 0 1 minus 1 0 second part also 0 only remaining c in the bracket 1 plus 1 means 2 1 plus 1 means 2 means you get 8 is equal to 2c therefore c equal to 8 by 2 means value of c equal to 4 you will get second value second constant value of second constant what about other value here x plus 1 first of all I am putting x plus 1 becomes 0 I got the one of the value x minus 1 becomes 0 I got the other value then you can't take this again and get the same thing that's why use trial and error method take any constant it may be uh, better way I will take x is equal to 0 put x is equal to 0 in equation 2 what about equation 2 equation 2 becomes 3 into 0 0 plus 5 means left hand side 0 plus 5 equal to a into bracket 0 minus 1 whole square means 1 whole square means only remaining 1 what about here? 0 plus 1, only 1. 0 minus 1, minus 1. Means it will get minus b. And what about here? Plus c. Okay. Therefore, b equal to a plus c minus 1. What is value of a? Value of a is nothing but 1 half. Value of c is nothing but 4 and 5 means 1 half minus 1 and this is equal to minus half where the b is equal to minus half isn't it? therefore equation 1 become once you get the value of constant then equation 1 become therefore equation 1 become Put proper value in proper place. You will get 3x plus 5 divided by x plus 1. x minus 1 whole square equal to a. What is value of a? a is nothing but 1 half x plus 1. Isn't it? What is value of b? b is nothing but minus 1 half x minus 1. And what about value of c? plus 4 divided by x minus 1 whole square 
and that is take integration of both the side. Integration of left hand side is nothing but our question. And integration of right hand side takes separate integration and simplify, you will get the answer. Okay? Means in repeated as well as quadratic, you can't use shortcut method. Shortcut method is only useful for factors of linear. Okay? Therefore, integrating both sides, integrating both sides, you will get in left hand side i is nothing but here constant of integration take outside the integration. Here also and here also for 1 divided by x minus 1 whole square into d. And take integration, you will get 1 half log of mod of x plus 1 minus 1 half log of mod of x minus 1 plus 4 as it is. And what about integration of this? You will get minus 1 upon x minus 1. Try to understand plus c. Otherwise, you transfer this x minus 1 bracket square in numerator. Means x minus 1 bracket raised to minus 2 and use formula for power function standard formula x raised to n days add plus 1 and divide the same quantity simplify you will get this answer means your final answer is 1 half log of mod of x plus 1 minus 1 half log of mod of x minus 1 minus 4 divided by x minus 1 plus some constant of integration c in this way, you can find the solution of this type of question. Okay, then this is the factors of repeating. Then what about factors of quadratic? Quadratic means irreducible quadratic. They can't reduce again. For better understanding, we will consider one of the example is like this. You can you have integration of dx divided by x x square plus 1. Try to understand. What is the degree of numerator? Degree of numerator is 0 because variable raised to 0 means 1. And what about degree of denominator? Degree of denominator is 3 after multiplication. Okay. Degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator. Use partial fraction method. Then observe the factors. Here, first factor is x, that is a linear factor, no doubt, because degree is 1. But what about second factor? Second factor is quadratic factor, and you can't find the factors easily. You can't find the factor easily. That's why you can write. Let integral quantity 1 divided by x into bracket x square plus 1 is nothing but a divided by first factor. For linear factor, only one must be required. But for quadratic factors, two constants are required. That's why you can write in this way bx plus c divided by x square plus 1. This is equation number 1. Writing equation number 1 is very important. You must be writing proper manner. If factors are linear, only one more constant is there. Factors are repeated, single constant, but in steps are increased. And what about factors are quadratic? Irreducible quadratic. You can't find these factors of this quadratic terms. Okay, that's why here two constants are there B and C. There are two constants. Then procedure is as usual equal as the denominator, compare, write down the equation number two, find out the value, put the proper value in proper place, and integrate in both sides. The procedure is same as similar to factors are repeated. Okay, uh, equalize the denominator in this way. Here use 
plus 1 division a into bracket x square plus 1 plus x into bracket bx plus c. This is it. And denominator as it is x into x square plus 1 as it is. Okay. Then compare both sides. Compare it, you will get Comparing, comparing both sides, we get 1 is equal to a into bracket x square plus 1 plus x into bracket bx plus c. Give equation number 2. This is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. Because denominator is equal in both the side, equalize the numerator only. This is equation number 2. Observe the first factor. Take first factor equal to 0. Means put x is equal to 0 in equation 2. What happened? 1 is equal to a into bracket 0 plus 1 and what about here? 0 because when we put x is equal to 0, 0 and everything is 0. Therefore, value well of a equal to 1. Value well of a equal to 1. You will get one of the value. How to get other value? When we take the second factor equal to 0, we can't get real value of x. We can't get real value of x. Then what can I do? Then we can use trial and error method. We can take any value of x. So here I have taken x is equal to 0. Here 0 is 1. Then put x is equal to 1. Put x is equal to any value. 1 in equation number 2. Okay. What about equation 2? 1 is equal to a into bracket 1 square plus 1 plus 1 into bracket b into 1 plus c. Means 1 is equal to 2a plus b plus c. You know value of a is nothing but 1. Put here. You get 1 minus 1 minus 2 equal to b plus c. Therefore, b plus c equal to minus 1. This is equation number 3. I can't get the value, I get the equation in terms of b and c. Okay. Similarly, put x is equal to minus 1 in equation 2. Take any value, maybe 1, 2, 3, like this. But take simple value for simplification. In equation number 2, equation 2 become 1 is equal to a into bracket x square minus 1 square plus 1 plus minus 1 into bracket minus 1 into x plus c. What about left hand side? 1 as it is, no doubt. No. Right hand side, minus 1 square means 1. 1 plus 1, 2 a. And what about here? Minus 1 is plus. Uh, replace the value of uh, my bad. This is the b because I am putting value of x is nothing but minus 1. Minus 1 is plus means plus b and minus c is there. Okay. Means value of a is given to you. A is 1. Therefore, again transferring this side minus 1 equal to b minus c. This is equation number 4. Again, we get equation number 4. Okay. Then, for solving equation 3 and 4, solving equation 3 and 4, I am written here. What happened? From equation 3 and 4, equation 3 is b plus c equal to minus 1. Equation 4 is b minus c equal to minus 1. Adding these two, from equation 3 and 4, after adding this term cancel, 2b equal to minus 2 means b is equal to minus 1. Okay, put b equal to minus 1 in equation 3. You will get b plus c equal to minus 1. Minus 1 plus c equal to minus 1. c equal to minus 1 plus 1. 
c equal to c u means you will get value of a equal to 1 b equal to minus 1 and c equal to 0 put all these values in equation number 1 therefore equation 1 become equation 1 become like this equation 1 become like this replace value of a equal to 1 b equal to minus 1 and value of c is nothing but 0 therefore equation 1 become therefore equation 1 become put proper value in proper place you will get like this and take integration of both sides integrating both sides integration you will get integration of 1 divided by x x square plus 1 dx is nothing but integration of 1 upon x dx minus integration of x divided by x square plus 1 dx in left hand side our problem is i is equal to what is the integration of this log of 1 of x and what according here what can I do in this case in this case observe the derivative of denominator 2x here only x is present adjustment is there multiply divided by 2 means 2x dx and in denominator as it is here derivative of denominator is on numerator Directly you can write the log of 1 of x minus half log of 1 of x square plus 1 plus some constant of integration c. Isn't it? It is very simple. Got it? Any doubt? Okay. Similarly, you can solve this type of questions for practice as well as possible and understand all this concept carefully ok this is the partial fraction method if factors are linear factors are repeated and factors are quadratic ok thank you